Hi, and welcome to the show. There are a lot of network attached solution options available out there, but did you know it's really easy to make your own Raspberry Pi 3 4 terabyte NAS, and that's what we're going to do in this episode. All you need to make this project is a Raspberry Pi 3, an SD card, recommend a minimum of eight gigabytes, a one to four terabyte 2.5 inch USB 3 hard drive, and a power supply for the Raspberry Pi. You'll also need a case, whether you make this out of a tissue box, an old project box, or you can make a little bit nicer one with a 3D printer or whatever you might have available, that's completely up to you. Okay, so once you've got your parts together, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Open Media Vault website. We're going to find the Raspberry Pi 2 3 image download, and we're going to download that. It's about a 500 meg download. Once that one's downloaded, you need to unzip that into a folder that you can find on your computer. Now, I recommend using a program called 7-Zip to do that and we will then end up with an image file, uh, so a Raspberry Pi file .img. Using Win32 Disk Imager, image that file to your SD card. Now you insert the burned SD card into your Raspberry Pi, connect the hard drive and the ethernet cable to so your net home network, and then attach power. I also recommend connecting a HDMI enabled monitor in order to be able to see the first boot of your new uh, NAS system because at the end of this boot sequence you'll get an IP address and that is the IP address of your network attached storage device that you can use to access the NAS over the network. So record your IP address and then head over to a web browser on any of the PCs connected to your home network, type in that IP address and you'll be presented with the Open Media Vault logon. Select the language of choice, type in admin as your first logon, and type in the recommended password, and that will start up the Open Media Vault introductory screen. From this stage, you've got a lot of choices and a lot of options, but what I recommend that you do is you head over to the users section and fire up and add a new user. Call that whatever you like. Uh, once you've got that user established, head down to the SMB section, the SIFS section. This is the, the Windows networking environment and add a share. So you'll be able to find your four terabyte attached hard drive and you'll be able to establish some shares on that that are accessible from any Windows style computer on your network. And really from that point on, you have a four terabyte NAS running on your home network that you can send and receive files from. Performance on the Raspberry Pi 3 is actually not too bad. I was able to get around about 11 megabytes per second, remembering it is only a 100 megabit Ethernet connection, not a gigabit connection. But that's not too bad, that'll serve most people's purposes. I have also tried this particular distribution and this particular setup with the Raspberry Pi 2, and it does run into some problems. It's just not enough power by default coming out of the USB ports. That is fixable uh, in certain ways, but for a simple and easy to set up uh, solution like this one, I haven't gone down into the details of that. The other thing to take note of is you can potentially expand your capabilities by adding more hard drives. However, I have tried this distribution with two four terabyte hard drives, and although it worked occasionally, it was not reliable. There's just too much power draw coming out of the USB ports for the Raspberry Pi 3. But one hard drive, very reliable solution. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and find it useful. I hope you have fun with your NAS on your home network and please join me again in a couple of weeks time.